Hi, I have a quick set, test set up here to show the um, pass-through abilities of this basis 22.5 watts, 10,000 milliamperes an hour battery. Um, yeah, what I was interested is, in was um, a battery that could charge a device and at the same time be in charge or at least being able to pass energy from a source. So I'm going to run a couple of different tests here that uh, was um, that actually if I had this information before buying this battery I would be very happy buying it um, and, um, and just very quiet very peaceful buying it um, and that that information isn't really available online so I just wanted to, to make a quick video to uh, give out this information for anyone that might uh, might uh, find this uh, information useful. Um, so currently I'm getting energy from a solar panel. Um, the solar, pa solar panel is uh, outputting 5 volts and 1.26 amps um, and and um, the battery is outputting 1.16 amps at 4.7 volts so actually the um, the camera is being charged and the battery is being charged right now um, the camera being uh, charged much faster than the battery um, now I'm going to fold one or actually two panels off and let's see what's the energy like so we're down to 4.7 six to volts and 0 0.5 amps and I'm pretty much outputting everything through the battery to the camera now when you do this kind of setups um, it's not really perfect for the battery uh, this is hard life for the battery um, but when for, for my setup which is specifically paragliding um, this is really good stuff because I can charge all, all my stuff at the same time and I don't have to worry about changing connections in the air. So I'm pretty happy about this. Now when I'm going to fold this last panel and that's going to shut off the incoming electricity. Actually it already did so let me open this again. Okay and I'm, I'm not sure what happens so I'll reconnect this so it outputs and I've I've been pleasantly surprised that when I cut off power I'm actually just going to to uh, cut off the power completely and um, yes yeah, so what happens is that the battery restarts and it checks what it can do and uh, what kind of um, inputs and outputs are connected actually it also listed on this model um, and um, yeah, and now it's running fine from the battery, outputting 1.8 amps straight to the camera. Once I plug it in, let's see what happens to the battery as I'm plugging it in. And it restarts, which means that the battery cut power to the output device. And then it starts outputting at 1.1 amps. And this is actually giving right now 1.2 amps. So. So yeah, this is really important that you can just uh, mix and match and everything works um, at the same time. Now, I found out that I, I have this uh, 33 uh, watts uh, USB charger here running on a cable. And let me just go and charge from, from that source. Charge the battery. And come to think about it, I'll have to, to make another... Uh, change in a second. All right, so right now the 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 um, camera is charging at one amp, um, and I just need this device as well. So. Alright, so right now I'm getting one amp from the charger through the uh, battery and pretty much outputting the entire th thing out to the, uh, to the camera. Uh, right now for this, 
for the purpose of the vis of the video, I am supposed to look at watts instead of trying to multiply voltage and amperage uh, in my head, but I don't want to mess with this. This is just a quick video. Um, yeah, but most of the power is definitely going right now straight to the camera. And what I found interesting is when I don't have anything plugged out to um, the output port, then, um, and I'll, I'll, I'll pull this out and at the same time I'm going to take uh, to take a video of this um, to show you that oh, sorry um, to show you right now it's disconnected well actually it stayed at uh, pretty much the same thing it's the same values but now the um, the battery pack would be charging um, but as I restart the charging I'll disconnect the uh, ch the charging from the battery pack completely and reconnect it and well actually I have to disconnect the entire device so that um, the smart charging abilities can uh, can resync with the battery and now it should go to 9 volts and it didn't uh, it could be that uh, this this um, that the uh, cable I'm using is not is not uh, proper for um, for 9 volt charging so let me just yes yeah, so I mean for quick uh, USB charging um, let me just try it again yeah it didn't but um, in other times uh, the battery can definitely go and um, and charge it uh, at 9 volts levels at 2 amps so I did get uh, 18 watts of uh, of charge into the battery, um, but my point was that uh, I could only get that to work at 9 volts when there was no um, outputs connected to the battery. Um, once um, any any output is connected to the battery pack, then it automatically drops the charging to uh, 5 volts values. So let me. Um, hook everything up with a different cable here and see if I can get this uh, to show up on the video okay so a different cable um, and this device and should go up to 9 volts there you go so right now it's charging at 18 point almost 20 watts so this battery is uh, pretty much properly rated to what it's supposed to do and let me uh, hook up the camera um, so that I also have an output all right so this is this can actually be enough of an, all right so um, the plug the cable isn't connected to anything but uh, the tester also draws a bit of uh, energy so right now it's it's on 4.8 volts and yeah this already dropped to 5 volts so uh, the battery pack is smart enough to um, to um, ask the charger um, for uh, a 5 volts uh, if it's if it has anything on the output ports um, let me charge the camera now and see what the values are like and what's getting the most charge so so the camera is getting one amp and I'm taking in 1.4 almost 5 amps from the wall socket so uh, the battery is charging a little bit and the cam camera is, is mostly charging um, yeah I'm pretty happy with this this is actually exactly what I was hoping to get um, with the um, with mostly uh, it's really important for me that uh, I could wire everything to the um, uh, to the cell uh, to the solar panel cell and uh, and having everything to properly charge um, this is really good daylight um, obviously the uh, values changes as I um, as the day changes and it's also really important uh, to have a battery that can uh, deal when the uh, battery uh, when the power cuts off or comes back on because obviously 
Uh, there's many times where you have shade on the panels um, and then um, you need a system that keeps on working and doesn't just get stuck and waits for you to disconnect everything or something and, and get it back connected. I hope this helps. Good luck. And one more note. I did speak to Basis on emails and uh, on AliExpress and they did say that uh, all of their battery packs uh, support pass-through capabilities. They also don't recommend using it much because um, because it's it's well established that this isn't perfect for uh, for the circuits on this battery and this will get it to overheat and and uh, probably lose its uh, maximum charge uh, quicker than if you don't use it but in a bind or for me while paragliding and uh, also when you're charging in low amperage I think this is a very uh, proper setup